Hey everybody, this is Rido, and we are back with another episode of Sam and Max. We're almost certainly going to succeed here. Uh, we just need to figure out this puzzle. Hugh Bliss has proven himself to be a tang a group of bacteria that feed off the bliss of people. We have... Let's see... These spoons... Here... And we go through these magi <laughs> magic <laughs> tricks. So we can use the magician talisman I wanna get off. <laughs> to switch him around. And I'm not sure what we're supposed to do after that point, though. <laughs> Big gun. Bullets won't hurt bacteria. <laughs> Evil chortle. Magic uh -huh. junk. Next up, it just never gets old. We're going to separate your place! <gasps> so you have one movement. One trick that you can do. Each time. Let's see. What happens if I just sit here? I don't think anything would happen. Evil <laughs> Yeah, I think sitting here would be fine. Saw us, Sam! We dare you. Okay, so we have the saw. Let's saw the <laughs> lunar lander. Okay, I think I figured this out. Now with the lunar lander. Saw it in uh, half. What are you doing? Just seeing what this saw can do. You dirty mutt! I'm gonna shove that saw up your yeah. Come on, this is a family show. I wouldn't swear. I'll just kill him some other way. Hmm. Yes, kids, it's your and my favorite. The cleansing bath of annihilation. So there we go. Now that we've broken the lander and it's fallen on our side, we can use the magic talisman and <laughs> switch places. The bacteria has no problem in the water, but it will have some problem in boiling water. Hey, you bless! Separate this! <laughs> Come on down, Max. You just won the grand prize. A drink of our villain. Hey, Hugh Bliss. See you on the other side. Well, I can't wait to see the souvenir you keep from this case. And with my next number one, I shall give birth to the cult of diuretics. <laughs> Which reminds me, we've got to go knock out Wizard again. And everyone else on Earth, for that matter. Oh, yeah. Hey, have you seen my boxing glove? I can't find it anywhere. This it? I was saving it for a surprise. You're the best friend I ever had, Sam. And you're mine, little buddy. Now, let's go save the world. Hmm. And that's it. We're going to get some credits, yep. Sam and Max Season 1. Sam and Max Save the World.
gonna get another case, Sam. Surely the local lawbreakers must miss our esoteric brand of personalized criminal justice. This is it. Uh, where's the food? Uh, surely there's a buffet back here. I have an ongoing project, like a golden calf or a graven image. I'll only rest once people are sacrificing their firstborn unto me. Also, I'd like to direct. Ow! <laughs> on a map of the Netherlands on my Netherlands. Alright, so that's the credits for Sam and Max Save the World. They put their song and dance number right at the end. Uh, you probably noticed that with the 1080p modification it particularly handled the credits badly uh, there were things that you weren't supposed to see on the edges things that were sliding going to slide in and slide back out it would have looked a lot better and made a lot more sense if uh, the engine could just handle 1080p really is, is all there was to it it would as far as the graphics but that is also the worst example I've seen of the modification so really if you want it at 1080p and you're not willing to play it in windowed mode at 1280 by 960 instead I would definitely say use the telltale game resolution tool unfortunately the windowed mode is the real problem with this uh, depending on your resolution of your desktop and your computer uh, being in windowed mode can be a, a big pain and you just don't want it you want full screen mode and it's unacceptable that this game just doesn't run in 2015 on Windows 10 PCs at least in full screen I'd still somewhat say play this game it uh, it has problems with it, it running itself it also has problems just kind of with the game design. It's a very old game design, something that wouldn't really play in today. If they came out with a new Sam and Max series, which they should, I mean, 
there's no reason not to try it again. I'm not sure it should even be a point-and-click adventure, though. It You probably would want to do a little bit of that. Right now we have uh, King's Quest getting rebooted, and it is a old point-and-click adventure that has been redone and rethought to a modern sentimentality. Uh, as far as this one, it was a little bit repetitive. Well, it was pretty repetitive. Moderately and more than average repetitive, really. At the first three or so uh, episodes. And then it was less repetitive and they definitely put more work in the last three. But then the last three episodes were way more cryptic. Way, way more cryptic. I, I, the difficulty just spiked up as soon as you started uh, episode four. It really did. The first three, super easy. Uh, I figured it out. Maybe it's because I remembered it. The last three, no. Didn't remember any of it. it really difficult. Had to go to a walkthrough. There's no hint system in this that's useful. Uh, talking to Max and getting a small hint doesn't didn't help most of the time uh, the hint system should be automatic after the game recognizes you're not accomplishing the goal or doing anything towards accomplishing the goal after a few minutes so it should just have Sam shout something out as a hint and it should be a cryptic hint then it should be a so less cryptic hint then it should just be downright explain everything to him tell step by step by step uh, because in the new modern way of making games, you want everybody to be able to play it and everybody be it, to be able to win it. It's no longer an achievement to beat a game. It's just a requirement. You have to be able... Your game has to be beatable by nearly every person on the planet. Anybody that would actually play a game needs to be able to beat the game. So, so far so good. I like the comedy. You don't get this Get Smart style comedy is what I call it, but Get Smart is such an old show that you probably, you'll probably have to Wikipedia that too, but that's definitely what they're playing off of and they don't use this style of comedy anymore. And I, I don't, they don't do shows like this anymore uh, on TV and they don't do games and dialogue like this. So there really is a opening for more Sam and Max in their style of comedy but I'm but the gameplay aspect needs to be upgraded the resolution needs to be upgraded the the fact that it needs to run on Windows 10 and be programmed well enough so it runs uh, nine years from now so their target goal should be in 2024 whatever Sam and Max released in 2015 should be still be playable that's not not unheard of not and it's not really really that hard even so we're gonna take a break my when people normally played this there was at least a month between each episode I've played all the episodes back to back because I'm a youtuber and I do silly things like that and I spend most of my time recording uh, playing games but I'm going to take a break. Uh, there will be a new series in this, this time slot. It will almost certainly be somewhat similar or related to this series. But it's not going to be Sam and Max. We'll come back after a while. So subscribe to my channel and keep an eye on it. And we'll do Season 2 of Sam and Max. And then we'll take another little bit of a break. And then we'll do Season 3 of Sam and Max. And then that will be all the Sam and Max that was made by Telltale. Maybe at some point in the future I will have enough free time that I will go back and play the first two that were made by LucasArts. Uh, LucasArts, uh, most of Telltale's employees originally came from LucasArts anyways. But, uh, yeah, we're going to take a break. We're going to let uh, let our mind rest with the Sam and Max series and go to a new series. I'm doing a lot of series. Right now I release around five and 
5 series every Monday through Friday. Five new episodes. Uh, I don't see any reason why that would get smaller. It may even grow bigger, but who knows. Uh, so make sure you click on my name right out. That gets you to my main YouTube page. There's a subscribe button there. Click that. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Uh, also click on my playlist tab from my main page. Check all the videos I have already done. I have over a thousand videos already uploaded. Some of them have to be good. Go click on them. There's a playlist for every game I've covered. Check them out. Watch them. See how good. See if you like them. See how how much I like them. And yeah, that's about it. This is going to be a incredibly short episode. We just ended up that way because we were so close to the end uh, last recording that I just then uh, episode 5 the bright side of the moon, moon was fine in its own length but my recording of this final recording was short and I'm still trying to figure out how to make the difference when those episodic games and say this is episode 5 of season 1 of Sam and Max but I make a several recordings of episode 5 is what I'm trying to train myself to do but sometimes I'll say I record episodes of episode 5 which makes no sense and I'm still trying to learn that that's crazy uh, and yeah so we're done overall I'd say this was a, a B, B plus style game so I don't know why I've started thinking about doing things like that but I don't give actual letter grades or comparisons or scores, but I would totally play this and I would tell everybody to totally play it if it didn't have its technical problems of just running it. Uh, because it's an experience you want to have at least once in your life. Definitely, definitely you want to play this game at least once in your life. I don't know if, I don't think there's really any reason why you'd want to go back and play it a second time. There's definitely things that I didn't click on uh, in specific episodes, so I may have missed a few lines of dialogue, but I didn't miss anything important. It is impossible to miss anything really important, because then I wouldn't have even beaten the game. Oh well, so yeah, that's it for this series. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment if you want to, and watch every second of my videos. All of that helps out. If you want to support me, you can click on my name, Rido. That'll get you to my main YouTube page. On the right is a blue button that says support this channel. Click it and make a donation. And if you would, please follow and friend me on all the social media sites like Twitter and Tumblr and Google Plus and Steam and Battle.net and Facebook. I have links down below in the description to all of those. Uh, let me know if there's something else I should be on. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.